biohackers are implanting microchips inside themselves which they are using to control their phones and televisions. Thousands of tech-obsessed people have already gone through the procedure, which sees a small chip placed in their hands. This can then be used to control small electronic devices, as well as the ability to detect movement behind them. Some biohackers, dubbed practical transhumanists, also claim that chips can help them hear color. Recent research has suggested there are up to 10,000 people who have modified their body using the technology. The procedure involves a small glass capsule being inserted into the fleshy part of someone's hand. Getty implanted, microchips are placed inside people's flesh in the controversial technique the Ada Mini will be deployed at Istanbul's new third airport to open later this year, to assist people with check-in and airport information, the robots are able to speak recognized faces, use the internet and process what they see, hear and smell. Getty images the Ada Mini will be deployed at Istanbul's new third airport to open later this year, to assist people with check-in and airport information, we have the opportunity to actually change our capabilities as human beings. Amal Grafstra, biohacker Amal Grafstra, a pioneer in the biohacking industry, set up company Dangerous Things, which offers people custom gadgetry for the discerning biohacker. The London-based entrepreneur told RT he has performed around 4,500 implants and personally has five different ones buried beneath his own skin. He said, people have been augmenting their image and appearance for millennia but now we have the opportunity to actually change our capabilities as human beings, but biohacking has been slammed as pointless and potentially dangerous by numerous experts. Last year, the practice made headlines when a company claimed it could cure HIV by injecting people with its research compound. Getty Control, it is predicted thousands more people will be biohacked in the future automation is coming for you. Getty Images Automation has already eliminated the job of lift operators but Mr. Grafster predicts it becoming incredibly popular. He added, you know we are a tool using species and as our tools get smaller and more capable and more advanced they're just going to be inside of us that's the ways that it's going to go. Biohacking is interesting because it's exploring, from a citizen science perspective, what possible things that large companies aren't interested in doing because it seems too risky, so biohacking is really democratizing this type of technology. And hopefully, in the future, it will move from a hack to just plain normal or commonplace. Related article